Well, you pulled it off very well. It, I was really surprised at how good the disc is. It was better than I thought it was going to be. It was a lot better than I thought well, it was going you. to be. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people were were a little bit not apprehensive, but they didn't know where I was going with that. They were surprised because I'd never done anything with like classical guitar. They, they were like uh, a little bit surprised about this approach. But then in the end, I think uh, people were pleasantly uh, surprised and uh, thought that I, I did something um, entertaining and uh, interesting. I mean, these are the basic thing I always try to do in music is to bring some new music that um, from a listener's point of view, I want people to be to listen and to be uh, entertained, but also intrigued maybe. And uh, it's a process. <laughs> very, very good record. I, I'll tell you, I like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. It is wonderful. You did a great job with it. The writing on it is very good. And there's a lot of acoustic guitar Yet, even though it's acoustic, it doesn't really lend to an acoustic record. There's a lot, it's a lot livelier. Yes. And, um, you know, it's just, it almost takes on its own life form. There's just a lot yes, going on with it. Uh, each, that's right, each, it's busy sometimes. You know? <laughs> yeah. Each bass yeah. solo that you do, and there's a, a bass solo in just about every song. Well, almost. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, they're, they're, for a, you know, you hear a guitar record, Maybe there's too many guitar solos in it, um, or a drum record that maybe a drummer will do where there's the, the drum is too far forward. You hear too much drum, not enough of everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of bass players will put too much bass playing on a record and bore people. This doesn't happen at all with this record. I mean, each solo is good. The bass melodies are very far forward, but they, they work very well. It sounds great. Well, it's a good point you're bringing here. I think... Uh Although I'm a bass player, I'm not the kind of uh, player who will put a bass solo album. So for me, the most important thing is the music. So is the song as a whole, is it balanced? Is it well mixed? The mixing process is very difficult, and any musician will tell you that. It's, it's very difficult to get. And I'm a bass player, so people will assume my bass will be mix really four in the mix. Maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, sometimes I'm losing track of if it's well balanced or not, but it's still, it's my objective. I want to I want to put music that is can be appreciated as a whole. It's not an album that can be appreciated only by bass player or only by drummers. When I'm listening to music in general, I'm not listening only to one instrument. I listen to it as a whole, and then later on I can concentrate on some instruments. So that's what I'm trying to do with my own music, is find a good balance. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's a good point you, you raised there. So uh, uh, I'm glad that I achieved it. I, anyway, I hope so. <laughs> well, you know what? You, you achieved it in my years anyway. But, yeah, I mean, it's a really well-balanced record. Um, mm -hmm. There is nothing that's done too much, yet there's also not really anything that's overlooked. It, it's just well done. Well, thank you. I, mean, I have to, um, you know, mention that um, I'm an independent artist. This was basically mixed in my home studio, and uh, most people, most musicians do that these days. But still, the aim is to put together an album that would sound like if it was mixed in a, uh, you know, a big studio, an expensive studio. That's always the aim. But you work with the tools you have, and at the end of the day, you're trying to put an album that sounds as professional as possible and as good as you can. Well, yeah, compositionally and um, recording-wise, sound quality, they're, they're very, very good. It's very high. The, the bar was set very high for you. Or you set the bar very high. Yeah. It, it's, it's very good. Thanks. I mean, it always needs to get better from the last album. So I always listen to my previous stuff, and I'm always learning from you know previous mistakes. I'm always trying to get things even better. So eventually... If you listen to my music, you wouldn't know it was done in a home studio. You would just think, yeah, well, that's good music, and that's that's uh, that's the objective. It's always the aim. You know? I'm more of a uh, studio musician, so I keep composing new music. I release albums, and uh, that's how I, I um, see myself. I'm more of a studio musician than a live musician. That's my focus. I write music, I compose it, I record it. And I release it uh, on CD, so um, that's uh, that's been the case for uh, for the last uh, well, 12, 12 years, I think. It's funny because um, I, I collaborate with a lot of people around the world, and um, some of uh, some people I never met in my life, you know. So if you just take my new album, it's got thirteen guests on it. 
and I would say half of them I never met or spoke to. <laughs> wow. So that's the way it is these days. You know, you can just play with people without actually meeting them. So uh, that's an approach I'm comfortable with. You know, I, I just, like I said, I love, I love to compose music, to record it, and have collaborators on it, and it works really well. The result is surprisingly good, I think. Um, some people maybe swear only by playing together as a band, which is totally understandable. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy to collaborate with musicians and work that way. I think it's equally uh, viable. Oh, very good. The goal here is, for me is to be creative, to bring new music to the table and keep people entertained. And I know I'm not playing for big audience, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm creating a music which I think is genuine and very um, interesting and worth listening to. So uh, that's the goal. That's the aim. And uh, whatever format it is, if it's a band or uh, if it's uh, whatever orchestration, the idea is to be creative and bring something interesting to people's sound system. <laughs> Where can people find Solace Operandi? You can find it on Amazon, iTunes, on my own website, which is AntoineFafar.com. You can download it on iTunes, or you can buy it as a CD. Yeah, check out my website. I have loads of videos. Uh, I like to offer my music, uh, you know, create some videos and visuals so you can uh, appreciate it that way. Anyone's interested in my music, I always love to hear some feedback. Don't hesitate to contact me. It's a small community, I think. It's just great to hear some feedback. And thanks again, Randy, for um, for playing uh, playing this sort of music. It's really great. I hope people in the Cleveland area enjoy your show. I'm sure they do. Yeah, they, people do. It's uh, It's been a real nice uh, thing. It's something different. Let's put it that way. It's just plain different. The disc yeah. jockey isn't very good, but the music's good, so <laughs> it works out. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. Well, Antoine... I, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. Congratulations with the new disc. It really is a fabulous disc. Well, thanks very much. And uh, it was great to speak to you today. And it's great that you're playing my music. I really appreciate it. Thanks again, Randy. Well, see, now you know there is a radio show. It really does exist. <laughs> you thought I was just another pretty... Well, you didn't think I was another pretty face. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we really do exist. There is a radio show. It actually goes on over the air, and we play good music. So... There you go. And now you've joined that list, that elite list of fabulous music that we play. I'm honored. Thank you. Actually, we're honored. It was a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I mean, we're, you know, we're, we're stealing your Friday night. That's okay. That's no problem. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> but, Antoine, thank you so much. How about a website for you, your, your own website? Once again, AntoineFafard.com? That's correct, yes. That's a good starting point. You can find all my music there, videos and uh, Facebook links. I mean, it's uh, it's all uh, it's all there. And if I may um, just add uh, one thing, is um, I, as I said, I always work on new music, and I'm uh, I'm working on a piece now that hopefully will uh, feature Terry Bozio on drums, and um, I'm quite excited about that because I've been a fan, a long time fan. So, yeah, keep an eye on um, on my website, and hopefully I'll have some uh, good news about the collaboration with Terry Bozio. should be really exciting. I hope so. Terry's an old friend of the radio show, so that should be a lot of fun. Really a nice guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous I, I, drummer. Absolutely. I, I'm a fan, you know, and it, it, it would just be a great if, if uh, it would be an honor, again, to have Terry on, on some of my music. I will keep you uh, updated about that. Well, we wish you a lot of luck with it. Thank you very much. I got something queued up right now called Free Spirit from the new CD. Antoine, thank you so much, Mr. Antoine Fafard. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us today. My pleasure. Thank you, Randy. We'll talk to you very, very soon. Absolutely. Absolutely.